Affectionately nicknamed Bebel in France, he was one of the nation's biggest movie stars. Jean, Paul, Belmondo. In the 1970s and 80s, putting Jean-Paul Belmondo's name to a picture guaranteed box office success. In front of the camera of Philippe de Broca or Gérard Ury, Belmondo made a name for himself in action comedies and was known for performing his own stunts. Il faut aussi s'appeler Jean-Paul Belmondo et faire semblant pour les besoins du film Le Guignolo qu'on est poursuivi par d'horribles gangsters. Mais vous avez un entraînement quand même nécessaire. Ah oui, là, je me suis, là en plus je me suis beaucoup entraîné euh, pour les bras, faut dire, parce que là ça tire énormément, surtout quand l'hélicoptère prend, prend les virages, là, ça tire vraiment très fort. Son of renowned French sculptor Paul Belmondo and painter Madeleine Renaud Richard, as a young boy he was more interested in sport than school. Despite a brief stint as a boxer, Belmondo soon found his place as an actor. His first big role came in Breathless, opening the door for him to shine a few years later in another Jean-Luc Godard picture, Pierrot le Fou. He soon became well known as one of the faces of the new wave, acting as a bridge between independent and popular films. Vous plaisez aux femmes? Je ne sais pas. In 2001, he suffered a stroke, but that didn't cost him his trademark smile. And eight years later, he returned to the big screen with Jean Dujardin in A Man and His Dog. Finally, after boycotting the César Awards for his entire career, Belmondo accepted a tribute from the Academy in 2017, with two minutes of thunderous applause for the well-loved cinema great.